we go. Now, let's get that chill music on. title suggests I'm just in the mood to move some cargo around for a while so I will do that let's make sure I have the right weapons on me Sir, all right. So I'm at least armed and ready. I want to leave that extra one here. There we go. Move some goodies. Just move around. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Vehicle select. Your vehicle has been delivered. Sixteen, huh? All right. All right. Hangar number sixteen. some PB beers on the server. Hmm. Nice. Oh, that dog took the slice of pizza off the plate and has wandered off to the other room to chow down. Unfortunately, it's a rainy and muggy day, but I enjoyed watching a movie today. almost has as many doors as a crusader ship. around the berth. Have Caterpillar, we'll travel today. Yes, sir. Uh, which way is Walla? Walla, Walla, Walla. Thank you.
45 and 55. Let's buy all the Laranite they've got. At least that I can afford. And then we'll top off on Tungsten. We'll go to Microtech next. I like that place, it's so pretty. Hmm. Speaking of pretty, did you enjoy that slice of pizza? Are you a happy doge? Come here, you. Oh, come here, come here. He ain't in trouble. I'm not mad at you. Come here. This is the hi. Yeah. Are you my little corgi? You want down? Okay, I'll get you down. Let's just move stuff around today. Listen to some happy music. This might be like the first stream in which I don't kill anything. Uh. Alright, I should see the place. Should be spawning in any moment now. I should be able to see it. Alright. Lower the landing gear. There we go, I can see the place now. Right up here. I like my caterpillar. Yeah, the Hercules C2 is the superior cargo ship by far. I just like the caterpillar. check and make sure that those ships don't have any pilots nearby. Especially that uh, Hornet Mark II. That could tear my Caterpillar apart in seconds. So before I go buying any cargo, Highly suspicious. I wasn't born yesterday. This kind of looks a little sus to me. I smell a possible trap. So better find out, make sure. There ain't nobody else here. I didn't see anything on my radar coming in. But... Uh. Okay, so according to the chat, with the language they're using, there are definitely gankers on this server. So at least it won't be completely boring. So there's definitely gankers on the server. Now, legit pirates, I do not know. Alright. Here's the cutter. I don't see any pilots. Right, this is where I go to buy the goodies.
Let's buy all the Laranite that they got. Alright. Buy Caterpillar. Oh, they've got a maximum inventory. Let's buy it all. Yes, sir. Let's buy it all. Nice. Now, well, let's top off on diamonds. My inventory is full. Let's go to Microtech. On our way to Microtech to sell some diamonds and some Laranite. Alright. I just feel like moving stuff today. And I finally had so much store credit left over on my account, I didn't know what to do with it, so I ended up buying a Prospector and a Vulture. And I still have more money left on my account, because I sold all the ships that I just wasn't using, which was quite a bit actually, and then I ended up getting two ships. Full cargo. All right, so let's head over to Microtech and sell the goodies. Uh huh. Let's go sell some goodies. And I kept my engines warm. So that way I can just get a move on. <clears throat> Don't waste your time. Get in, get out. The longer you sit, the longer you're a sitting duck. All right, let's charge up. Quantum, and let's not waste our time. Let's head on over to Microtech. Let's just move some goodies today. All right. All right. Be right back. Hey, doggy. Making some time. This is my caterpillar. Alright. 
How am I doing on time? I'm already a third of the way through, through the trip. Almost half. Yep. Plenty of quantum fuel to get me there. We're good. Plenty. Alright. Uh, let's see. Call the arms. Check. Always a good thing to have that, just in case. That's... Nah. Well, I do have a vulture now, so I could probably put that to work today. So how's... How is your day, people? Yeah. But um Make sure I'm not getting that prop. Yep, good, 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 good. Yeah. Let's see who else is live. Oh! said hello to Shadow Spectre. He's a wonderful guy. He's cool. Oh, nice. We're almost to Microtech. So we've got a cargo hold full of uh, Laronites and a little bit of diamonds. So hopefully this should make me a pretty penny. to new Babbage. Yeah. Okay. 
I'll drop into Shadow Spectre's Discord. And then I'll uh, drop back real quick. Whoa. They're bangles, baby. Who did that? Bangles? Yes. I don't know. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm just dropping in to say hello real quick and you wish you an awesome stream. Hey man, what's going on, Squirrel? How you doing? <laughs> I'm running cargo as well and I'm just playing lo fi and chill chillax music and I'm doing a little bit of streaming of my own, just chilling. Oh, no worries, man. So good luck yeah. to ya. All right. Anytime you need. Well, see, sometimes when you're doing stuff, I'm either working or I'm already in a stream. Yeah, that's how it's been lately. Yeah. So if you all are just what running cargo and stuff, do you need an extra gun or an extra cargo ship to help? At this point in time, I can't say. I don't know. Hey, that's it's, fair. It's pretty much up in the air. And have you done all the uh what you call it yet um, i've got to phase two phase two's done on my end i've done oh, phase okay. one the bunkers and phase two mm. that to me was just simple target practice that was good times oh this is, it's interesting i'll give it that yeah <laughs> uh the phase two is hilariously easy yeah it's just you need a well, ship that's got some range that can travel but the thing about it is, and I think everybody can agree that it being in an ongoing event where it's constantly running and your progression is saved is really good. Yeah, I, I agree. Well, hey, good luck today. I hope everything works out good for you and the snowbirds and the warbirds. Yeah. All right, man. You know. Fly wild and happy gaming. Take care of yourself. All right, dude. Take it easy, man. All right, and thank you, man. Peace. Yeah, Shadow Spectre is a wonderful person, and the org that he's with, they are a bunch of really, really awesome people. They are wonderful people. Still not used to these big ships. I'm used to the small ships. There we go. Softest landing, but it'll do. All right, let's top that fuel off. All right, let's go sell the goodies. All right, while well, it's topping off the fuel, I'll go ahead and get going.
All right, let's get that move on. Hello, Santa Truck. This is the Drake Caterpillar. So it's one of the better cargo ships. It's not the top dog, but I just like it and its personality. And that is the tractor beam control for the starboard side. And on the port side is the command module. That's where I pilot the ship from. And believe it or not, this has a lower level right here, and that's the second tractor beam control. Then there are five cargo modules, and this thing is just shy of 600 units of cargo being able to transport, just under it. And I just like it, it's got personality. Objectively speaking, the Hercules line of cargo ships are the superior ship. But I like the Caterpillar. It's got personality. Well, believe it or not, the Caterpillar has a server room in it for data running. So when data becomes implemented, that'll be another feature that the cat can do. So, don't sleep on it. Yeah, the Hercules can absolutely fly circles around the Caterpillar, and it can carry more goodies than the Caterpillar. But I wouldn't sleep on the Caterpillar. Uh -huh. uh, yep. So, I wouldn't sleep on it. All right, let's go sell the cargo. Yep, that's the beauty of this game. There are so many different kinds of ship. There's something for everyone. I tend to be a diehard Drake fan, but I also love the Anvil and Crusader ships as well. If you get a Hercules, you cannot go wrong. That's a wonderful, wonderful ship. I would definitely give you two thumbs up if I saw you flying around in a Hercules. I just like the Caterpillar. Again, the Hercules is the better of the two ships. I just like the Caterpillar. Mm, oh yeah, the Polaris looks really cool. Oh, <laughs> a lot of people have been waiting for the Banu Merchantmen. They've been waiting for years and years and years. And I hate to say it, they'll probably be waiting more years. Which is a shame. Okay, one minute, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're a bunch of weirdo cultists. Although, you should see the uh, Reliant fans if you want to see a cult in this game. Woo! <laughs> the Reliant Tana. Oh boy, now that's got a cult following and I used to be one of those cultists. When I first got into this game, I absolutely loved and adored the Reliant Tana. But as time passed, I realized I wasn't actually using it. <laughs> so I traded it in for something else. Now station. Oh, um, I started off in Area 18. So I filled it up with Laranite and Diamonds. I'm just gonna just pop around random locations. I might hit SMO 18. 
but it's a very risky, risky run in a caterpillar because it's so slow. It takes you forever to get off the ground and to the uh, right altitude to go to quantum. You're a sitting duck in a caterpillar. Hey, I like the 600i. The 600i has got style. And it's, it's truly like a mobile home, but one that feels really comfortable to live in. I mean, it's good for bringing a Ursa, or a, some uh, dragonflies, or a few uh, rock mining vehicles. It doesn't really carry that much in the way of cargo. It's all about the exploration and looking at stuff. Oh, I agree. I hear the uh, 600i is getting the rework. They should be getting the med bed that you can respawn at. But uh, time will tell. I tend to like the Drake ships, the Anvil ships, and I also like the Crusader ships. But I'm definitely a Drake guy. That's my number one pick is Drake. Now, Origin does have some... Uh, ships that I really, really do like. I love the N50 Racer and I love the 85X Touring. Alright. This way. Nope, the other way. Hey Shadow, good to see ya. I hope everything goes great with you and the snowbirds today. Good luck. I'm about to make my first cargo delivery of the day. I picked up a full load of Laranite with a little bit of diamonds. I filled up my caterpillar. I appreciate it. And have a really good stream on your end. So Santa Trucks, don't forget to check out Shadow Spectre too. He does group, group play really well. So... Most of the time, I'm kind of a solo player, but I do like to tag along with friendly people. All right. Let's make my first sale of the day. There's my caterpillar. All right. I've already made a significant. I've already made a 200k profit in total. I've already made that. Now let's just top it off with the diamonds. So 200k plus whatever I sell the diamonds for. Oh yeah, I'll drop a link to Shadow. He is a nice guy. Great people. So I'll drop a link to Shadow's channel. Let me do that real quick. There we go. And here is Shadow Spectre's channel. Wonderful people. Look at that. Nearly 500k in pure profit. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yep. 500k in profit. No problem. You've got your stream to take care of, Shadow. Thanks for dropping by to say hi. And good luck on your stream. Have a good one. And let me know if you think my face is worth showing. Alright, let's take the risk. Nice. Thanks, Santa. Yeah, oftentimes I'm a solo player. Sometimes I team up with uh, Shadow Spectre and his group. Sometimes I team up with Blackjack Bill and the Pirates. So I'm kind of a tag along, but I also like to just do my own thing. All right, let's head. Let us head back to the Caterpillar and let's take another risky run. I'm feeling pretty risky today. I already have looked through the uh, list of people on the server. 
While we've got a lot of lawful players, I did recognize a few known pirates on that roster. So, let's run the risk. I might get blasted into oblivion. I might make it. You never know. Let's go buy some uh, high-end cargo, something risky. And you know what? I will head... I'll buy goodies from here. And I think I'll make a trip to... Uh, I think Area 18 will do. Alright, since I'm here, I've got myself a new... Vulture. Where is the vulture? Let's put some uh, paint on it. Happy in pink. There we go. And then the misc prospector. Ah, I like that paint. So now I got a couple of industrial ships ready to go. And as soon as the wipe happens, I will be I will be able to uh, attend to the ships that I do have a little better. Make some money. This is just for a chill. I normally am running around shooting people and stabbing people, but I just feel like listening to happy music. And just flying around and looking at the sights today. That's what I feel like doing. So let's call in the caterpillar. Let's go to somewhere to pick up something spicy. Oh, I am down for being your assistant and a reclaimer if you want to. I am totally down for that. So... If you want to send me a friend invite in game, take a look at my screen. Look under Sniper Squirrel. I'll show up as Squirrel Lord 161. So send me a friend invite and a party invite, and I will be your operator. Sniper Squirrel. And I'll help you uh, get that RNC. Or move your boxes in the back. Oh, there you are. Yep. Alright, let me know. I can come to you. Raymond, how you doing? Okay, so I'll address the wipe. Apparently it is one month out, supposedly. I actually honestly look forward to it. I look forward to the wipe. So now about Dune. I read the books first, at least the first two books. There, I've got four more to read. Um, I also saw the uh, 1984 film when I was a kid thought it was cool. Alright, I will come to you. You're at Orison, huh? Alright. I'll hop in my Pisces. Alright, I'm coming to you. Or you let me know where to meet you. Halfway. Let's see. Hangar 3. I actually like Orson. Orson is nice. All right. Now this is the starter pack I bought for this game. And I stand by this decision. Pisces is a wonderful ship. All right. Setting course for Orison, my dude. I will meet you there. And you just pilot, I will be your helper. 
You let me know if you need me to take care of the boxes or run the, the uh, salvage laser. Either or, I'm happy. All right, I'm gonna take off. I'll be on my way. Mm -hmm. I like the Pisces. Okay, so uh, the do you want it this spoiler free or total spoiler territory? Because spoiler free, I can tell you that they deviated from the book a bit, but for a film adaptation, it was incredibly good. Absolutely incredibly good. It is definitely a lot better than a lot of all the other junk that Hollywood's been producing lately. Significantly better. Um... The romance arc between Paul Atreides and Shawnee is very different in the movie than how it happened in the book. Um, one of the major events they kick off in the movie technically doesn't happen towards the mid to end point of the second book. And the movie was supposed to cover the second half of the first book. So they did some things out of order. Paul's sister was born by the time Paul confronted the Emperor in the book. In the movie, Paul's baby sister wasn't born yet when he confronted the Emperor. So there's a lot of variations between the book and the movie, like some really big details that are really big variations. The acting was on point world-class acting the dialogue was good they kept some of the key phrases and stuff from the book but overall it was definitely a film adaptation and it showed so I know it'll piss off a lot of the book purists but I've read the book they follow the essence of the story very well they actually show some damn respect it's not an exact replication, but I quite frankly do not care. They did a very excellent job putting it to the big screen, and the way they portrayed the characters was really good. Now there are details about the characters that differ in the book and the movie, but again, the essence of the characters they nailed it. And uh, just a friendly heads up, Dune Part 2 does give a cliffhanger ending. It is a cliffhanger. Big cliffhanger. So I hope they make another movie because they're doing a really damn good job with it. And the fight scenes were dope as hell. It wasn't stupid over the top like an anime fight. But there, there was a grittiness to the choreography in the fight that just looked good. The fights were good. Um, so, if you're comparing the new version to the 1984 version, the new version looks a lot more grounded in reality. It's not as fantastical. But there's a grittiness to it. It looks good. There's a... it, it looks really good. And... They did completely change how the love story between Paul and Chani goes down. I mean, they're still destined to fall in love and be properly married, but they did it differently in the movie versus the book. They did it very differently. Um, the fight between Paul 
and Fade Harkonnen was badass. That was a badass fight. It looked believable, and it was nail-biting. And instead of blasting a soundtrack in the background, it was silent. They cut the music for that fight. But, like, you felt the impact of the fight. It was gritty. And the uh, choreography was exceptionally good. It actually worked. I've heard rumors that they're definitely working on another one, for sure, but that's the rumor mill, so take it with a grain of salt. I hope they're working on another one, because again, cliffhanger ending. And they started a major plot point that happens in the second book, right at the end of the movie. Like, they kicked off an event that takes place uh, years after the event of the first book. So again, they kind of threw uh, a lot of details kind of out of order, so... If you're a book purist, you're going to be kind of annoyed with it. But if you take a step back and you look at the essence of the story, they freaking nailed it. They did a good job. So, it just depends on how much of a purist you are. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, watch part one, watch part two. Um, the Reverend Mother, she had a, she was far more cold and calculating, but there was always, you can feel the threat in the air whenever she was around. She wasn't like some conniving, like, talk in the Emperor's ear, counselor. I mean, technically she still was, like, compared to the 1984, but she had a power all of her own, and she had a presence. Like, there was a threat when she was in the room. Oh, shit. I don't think I can watch the Halo series because I've read I've read four of the books and I've played the game since day one they came out. I'm pretty sure that if I was to watch the Halo series it would piss me off to no end. So I would have to really uh, clear my mind. Kind of like what M. Knight uh, Shyminer did to Avatar The Last Airbender. I have a feeling that they bastardized it really bad. That's fair. That's fair, Brody. I'm not an ultra purist with Dune. Like I said, they did do events out of order compared to the book but they followed the essence of the story extremely well so overall I'm extremely happy with Dune part 2 and I have part 1 on Blu-ray and I am buying part 2 as soon as it comes out on home video I'm buying that immediately I'm very happy with it and yeah, um, it's a lot more action-packed than part one. And the fighting, it's less dancey, it's more gritty and brutal. And I like that. All right, Captain Cracker, I'm coming up on Crusader. I'm about five and a half million kilometers out. I'll be there shortly. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, once the action in part two kicks off, yeah, <laughs> buckle up. It's a roller coaster ride. But then there's a few quiet parts scattered throughout the middle of it. 
but the uh, dialogue and the acting is so damn good and intriguing. You'll be intrigued during the quiet parts. During the action-packed pa uh, parts, it's nail-biting good. And there's a few parts that'll make you laugh your ass off at the villain. Alright, I can just EVA to you, Captain Cracker, or I can land where you're at. Either way is good with me. Or Santa Truck. Yeah, so, again, the uh, visuals, it's more grounded compared to the 1984. And, uh, yeah. I will be honest, people were building up Fade to be like this ultra, ultra baddie. And I felt like they didn't give him enough time to develop as a character as a villain. I think they kind of cheated him. But him as a threat and the fights with him in, those are sick. And they do really emphasize the point that he is a brutal and frightening opponent to face off against. Santa Trucks, if you've got Discord, I've left a link in the conversation bubble of the stream. Feel free to connect. I'm nearly to Orison. I will see you shortly. So yeah. I know that the Dune movie will probably annoy the super book Puritans, but for the core fans, they're happy. All right. Hello there. Can you hear me? There you go. Now I can. All right, what do you want to be called, Santa Trucks or uh, Captain Cracker? Captain Cracker. Hey, Captain Cracker. Huh? So what's cracking? You can call me Santa if you want to. Be um, uh, I'm Santa Claus, kids. I look like Santa Claus. Beg your pardon? I look like Santa Claus. Okay, one more time. I'll turn my music down. I said I look like Santa Claus. Ah! It's, it's one of the uh, stages of life in men. One stage where we uh, believe in Santa, where we no longer believe in Santa, and then the part where we start to look like Santa. And I the... look enough like him where people want to take the picture. Nice. I'm not quite there yet myself. You gonna move? Hey. Pad at huh? Pad at Seraphim? Yep, I'm just coming up. I'm requesting docking. And I'll be landing shortly. Alright, I'll try not to bother you too much. I know you're sharing. Nah, I like to interact and chat with people. I like to get to know people. Do you want to fly? Or do you want to I'm... I like stacking boxes. I like stacking boxes. Do you want to Sounds good. So we can take the salvage missions and let's just go scoop some goodies. Yeah, so I'm a big Drake fan and I love the Anvil ships. But I do love the Crusader ships as well. I'm not much of a 
Nah, Drake's a special acquired taste. If they were a little bit stouter, yeah, they've been buffing them. Their, their holes, I know that's part of their gimmick, but cut it red, I like. Oh yeah, I like the red and the black. Those are my two babies as far as Drake's go. I'm hoping the Apollo will replace Cody Redhead for me. Yeah. Still may be a ways off. Alright. 38 space bucks to refuel myself. And I came all the way from Microtech. That's pretty good. I just refueled my reclaimer and it cost me. 3500. Oof. That's why I love my little Pisces. Alright, you just let me know what hangar I need to head to. I'll put my Pisces away and I'll join you. Alright, so Scarred Citizen. You literally popped in right as I was uh, talking with people about Dune. But I'll go ahead and give you the non-spoiler sum uh, summary. They do vary from the book in order of certain events. One of the major events that kicks off in the second book, they kick off during the movie. And the movie covers the second half of the first book. But they follow the essence of the books and the story very well. Right. What I press? Ah, uh, yeah. Let's uh, just put that away. All right. Where am I headed to? Uh, Seraphim. Go to the pad. I'm Seraphim. I'm. And oh, go I, to Seraphim. I, yeah, I thought you understood that. I uh, mean, yeah. Nope, I, I missed I missed that. Are you in Orson? Yeah. <laughs> Just come to Hangar 14. Okay. I'm we'll... in Hangar 14. All right, I we'll... Just finish refueling. All right, I'll see you there. But yeah, um, they did a really good job with uh, Dune Part 2 overall. Uh, I thought you said you're at Seraphim Station. Oh, I said if you're already at Orson, are you at Orson? I am. Or Seraphim. Yeah, come to 14 in Orson. Okay. Yeah, I'm in the hangar with my ship. Okay. Alright, one sec. Just gotta put the Pisces away now. Pisces. Did you say hangar 18? 14. 14. Got it. Alright, I'll be there shortly. Oh, I hope they do go that far, Scarred. Alright, on my way. There's a box in the kitchen that's got water in it if you need it. Excellent. I did bring a backpack full of goodies just in case. Alright. I'll be coming up shortly. I'll take the coffin elevator up. So have a big tractor beam, little tractor beam if you need it. Sounds good. Do you want to try the new uh, hull scraping handheld? 
gun. Oh, I've heard about that. I haven't used it yet. I've got one if you want to try it. And the little ammo canister for it. I've been trying it. How, how well does it work? It works pretty good. Because I've got a vulture. I know the uh, scraper for the little multi-tool is not efficient at all. I'll bring some in case you want to like give it a try and I'll bring 10 canisters. It's pretty neat. So I got two guns and two canisters, 10 canisters and right. everything we should need. All right, I'm here. I'll go ahead. It's your ship. So I'll go ahead and sit in the operator seat here. You want to fly it? Oh, I don't mind. Go ahead and fly it. I fly it all the time. All righty. So you want, you can grab the emission, share it, and we will get a move on. Alright. Alright, grab us a salvage emission and I'll take us there. Clearing emission. You get it? I sure did. And tracking. All right, let's get a move on. Oh, is this? This doesn't look like the regular paint that goes comes with it. No, I think it's the uh, Head Knight paint. I think. Oh. What does the uh, name on your ship say? I can't read it from here. It says Reaper. Face Reaper. I like it. I've got. I've got one buddy who's got one of these ships, and he titled his, I did it for the cookie. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. He's, he's got a good sense of humor. That's right, I forgot. This thing does not ha have very good... The VTOL's on. She got to take the landing gear off. Yeah, done. All right. So how does the main claw to this thing work? I heard it works pretty good. Like I've heard they finally got that up and running. Yeah, uh, I like it. Uh, I like everything about the recliner. I, I really enjoy taking this ship out. Yeah, I'm normally a mercenary type player. I like to go in and just shoot people and take their stuff. Uh, I like that, and I like all kinds of combat in this game, but yeah. I really enjoy... Sometimes it's nice to just go and relax and... Yeah, I hear that. I'm making money, buy some more armor, ships, that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Exactly, Scarred. That is the point of Dune, is not to put blind faith into leaders. Do not put blind faith, because they don't always have your best interests in mind. I thought the point of doing was those who control the spice control the world. Yeah. Well, it's kind of a, a story that kind of warns you against, you know, bad leaders. <laughs> yeah. Don't just, do not just no, blindly yeah. follow. Don't just blindly follow them. You should be critical of them. in the book uh, Paul Atreides uh, ends up having two children and one of them ends up becoming a really horrifying tyrant I've read the book but it's been many 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 years ago oh yeah Well, and I 
fuck in that destination. There we go. This is the ship that I've flown the least in the game. I've taken it out only a few times. So, yeah. It's a good way to make money. Oh, it is. So right. I can, I can operate the laser. And if you want to stack the boxes, yeah. we can do that. Uh, I love stacking boxes. Yeah. All right, then I'll be sure to be I fast. Have a whole system. <laughs> exactly. When I'm, done, come back. when I'm done, you can come take a look at it and see what you think. Oh, that's true, Raymond. I stack them five high down the middle. All right, we're almost to our destination. Just one more, one more little hop. Staring into the sun whenever I'm traveling. Would you like to try the new hand tool when we get there before we crack it? Ah, uh, you know, I'll just, I'll That's just. That's fine if you don't want to. I just offer you. I appreciate it. I think I'll skip. I'll just be your laser operator for you. No problem. And you can choose how to divvy up the uh, goodies when we're done. Oh, I got so much money. It's not even funny. You're, you're the whole, Let's see. The whole thing. How much do I have? Probably uh, two million. <laughs> yeah, I've got two million in my piggy bank. I have forty. Oh wow. Yeah, so I'll just let you have that for a moment. Alright. Just scanning for debris so I don't fly into it while I'm... Because, yeah, I don't often take the big ships out to play. As you saw in my stream, the biggest ship that I personally own in the game is the Caterpillar. I would stay around 350, 400 SCM. All right. It take a really long time to stop it. But that, that to me. I appreciate it. I would have just shot right <laughs> past it. I've done it myself quite a few times. Yeah, this thing definitely holds a lot of momentum, that's for sure. Let's see what we got. So yeah, I've got now a couple of little industrial ships for myself. But normally I'm flying around shooting everything that moves. But it's nice to just once in a while do something chill instead. Yeah, plus I like I like to make some money to get ships and gear and help my friends get ships and gear. Yeah. Oh, What's we're it? going into a quite the dust cloud, aren't we? We're going in quite you a. Just... You do the same thing I do. You fly with the uh, sun and that blind spot right there. Yeah, well, it's bright. It hurts my eyes. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't either. Like, in real life, my eyes are extremely sensitive to light in real life. So, I live in a state that we don't see light all the time. So, like, I'm adapted for darkness. Oh, I live in Texas. It's always bright now. I live near Seattle. So, I'm probably one of the few people near the Seattle area that's a veteran, that has an American flag, and that carries. <laughs> but 
But at the same time, I'm a huge, huge nerd. It's like I fit in and I don't at the same time. But I'm okay with that. I'm just looking for a nice clear pocket to make a nice wide circle as we slow down. And maybe I can get that sun on our backs instead of in my face. So I'm just going to kind of go past the claim and turn around. That way I'm not getting blinded. There we go. Yeah. There, now the you sun's on our back backs and not... Easy. The sun is on our back and not in our face. Now I can work without any trouble. Let's see what it is. Looks like it's a Hercules. I'm found uh, about 46 meters from the center of the ship. Is about the best way to break it. All right. Well, let's scan it for cargo, see if it's got anything on it. All right, let's see if it's got anything good. Okay, it is a Hercules. Don't know which one yet. I think it scans at about 2,000 meters. get up close. If they've got anything good, we'll find out soon enough. Just have one or two quantanium and one or two gold. That's going to be about the only thing I've been finding. Hey, that's still good stuff. That's still good stuff. So, I mean, I could come in my vulture, get the gold, get the quantanium, and then scrape the rest. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right about here will do. Now, let's try to see as much surface area as we can. Okay, I'm going to hop in the uh, laser and get to work. So the claw works just like the other stuff. Yeah, you got to turn on power and hit him. There's the power button. There we go. that button. Alright, where's the button to activate the claw? Am I doing it even right? Do you know the hot key to get into the turret to activate the claw? Look to your left. Look all the way to your left. No, uh, you're a poor person. Okay. Look all the way to your right. No, left. 
towards the pilot seat. Okay. Go directly towards the pilot seat. Okay. There it is. Power off. Got to turn that power on. Go down. Go down. Right there. Okay, so I'm hit M. M? Yeah. Did the, the, yeah, the claw came out? Yep. Okay. All right, looks forward. Now turn it on. Okay. All right, now look forward. Now hold, uh, right click to change the fracture. Do fracture first. And then, uh, left click cycles between fracture and disintegrate. So, right click one time. All right, it's on fracture. Okay. Now, do I get in the that's, pilot that's, seat? And that's, just... All right, now just stay right there. Are you right on it? How close to it are you? Uh, still a ways a bit out. You need to be like. 40 meters, I mean 46 meters okay. away from me. I will get in the pilot seat and move us closer. Alrighty. Alright. See, I like trying new things out in this game. So for me, this activity is still new. You said about 40 meters from the ship? Uh, if you're 40, you'll be a little too close. Be 46 from the center. Okay. What am I doing? Come over the top of it. Okay. Yep, that looks right. Okay. A little more. Up. Okay. Up. What did I press? Uh, left click. Okay. Do you see the little circle? Let's try, no. it. Let's try it again. Alright, he's... Okay. You're still close enough. You're close enough. Get back in the seat. Alright, arm is redeploying. Oh, it's it's doing it. It's doing it. So yeah. And as soon as it fractures, you hit left click and go into right click, and it'll go back into disintegration, and it'll actually try and hold it there a little bit, it's like a little tiny track of feet, uh... so that you can disintegrate. If you don't do it as soon as you do it, it'll try and drift away. But it does help if you do if you click. Over to it. So as soon as it's done fracturing, switch to disintegration and activate yep. that. Yep. Will do. It does stay close to me that way. Okay. Uh, 
Uh-huh. I think I've activated it. Oh, I see it. I see the little icon with the, uh, the circle forming around it. Now, when you see the numbers, the numbers tell you negative means you're going to get minus 10% or whatever it is, 19%. The positive means you're going to get that percentage more to the positive and the RNC. Oh, wow. Or a uh, church material. <laughs> right there should go up the hopper. Well, that is pretty cool. Let's look at this. See, I've never done this particular. I haven't used this thing. I've used the uh, vulture, but I haven't used this big claw thing. Oh, wow. There it goes. It's gone. That's wild. You'll watch it turn into little tiny pieces in just a second. Uh, it, it just vanished. Now, I see there's some bombs out out there in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, they, those are just... They won't do anything. Unless you shoot them. Uh, oh, God, yeah, that would be a terrible I've idea. I've never tried to do that. I am that guy that will poke the bear. I sent you a meal so you can buy some contracts. So while I'm stuck in this, if you want to buy the next contract and then move on. Okay, thank you. No problem. Uh, and we'll just fill this thing up, huh? Oh, yeah. I'll let's see, you. I've got nothing back. but Drake Cutters and Scorpius. So let's go to the personal tab, right? Uh... Risky job, MSR or Hammerhead? If you, you see the one that says Hammerhead, two hundred twenty-five thousand, or yeah, two hundred twenty-five thousand. That means once you crack the ship, it will pay you two hundred twenty-five thousand. Wow! You want to uh, do that one and share it? Sure. Go ahead. You don't have to share it. You can keep it. I don't have to share it to use it. Wow. So at this point, I could probably deactivate the claw, right? Yeah, or just get out of the seat. It'll retract itself. I'll take us to the next destination. Dang, that's cool. And I'll take us to the destination. Sounds good. We got an hour to do it. And it should be outside of yellow. Yep. That's what it says. That is really cool. Woo! Okay. I can see now why so many people like this thing. So how's oh, yeah. it going in the cargo bay for you? Going great. So a two-man operation, just have one person working in the cargo bay and somebody sit up here and be like, okay. Yep. That's fast money. Oh, I did, I can do that. You do this enough, you could just do it solo. I can make about seven, nine million of that easy an hour. Wow. I've already bought so many people reclaimers in this game. That's not even funny. Just help them out. Now, do you know if the uh, Drake Vulture has that same crack the ship apart or is it just this reclaimer that does that no it would do that too it just smaller only, 
do yeah smaller smaller ships the biggest one you can crack is an msr that's still quite a bit of salvage though you can fill that up real quick oh yeah yeah so we're getting paid for the missions which is no small part and then we take the cargo uh, to go sell it the only one you get paid for is ones like it, like the, uh, there's a Cuddy Black and an Andromeda, I think. And okay. the rest of them you have to pay for. And the Vulture can handle the Cuddy, no problem. And the, the Cuddy and the Andromeda pay 8,000 apiece. How much? 80? Yeah, so if you get the Cuddy Black every time it drops, you get 80,000. Just for breaking it. I'm not even counting the material you get off of it. Dang. And you can you can do that in a vulture with like no issue. Yeah. Good thing I have a vulture. <laughs> All right, sir. I will take us to the hammerhead. All right, we're almost empty. There's the hammerhead, making my way over there. got a visual on the hammerhead. I'm just going in nice and slow so we don't crash into it. Because that would be unfortunate. So yeah, so a vulture can handle the cutlass mission instantly. And that's 80k you said right off the bat. And then plus whatever I take and sell myself. Yep. Dang. So if you got a friend that's got a, or you have a C2, take a friend, bring the C2, and you can unload the vulture into the C2 or a caterpillar. You can unload the vulture. A lot of people do the caterpillar. They just back it up to the door, unload it into the caterpillar, and then they go and do more ships. That's smart. Close enough. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. All right. There we go. I think that's close enough. All right, thanks for teaching me something new. I'll go ahead and crack this one right now. Get to it. No problem. As soon as you get done, I'll grab another mission. I'll share it with you. Sounds good. And then I'll just, I'll take us there and I'll get to work. Sounds like you like to move the boxes. So kind of one of those relaxing activities for you. <laughs> it is, and, and I, I stack them. Hey, then I will be your helper. Let you be in your... Happy Zen mode, you know. All right, so fracture it, mm -hmm. and then when the timer goes out, switch to disintegration, and then take all the goodies. Oh yeah, we're about a quarter of the way done already. So yeah, obviously this is a little bit bigger than the other ship we just cracked. Well, actually, it's pretty comparable to the C2, but it's more compact of a ship. So if you decide you if you decide you enjoy doing this, and we're done. We'll get you hooked up with your own plane. I'll probably have more than enough money, and I know where to buy it. You can buy it over at Hurston. Yeah, we should make about. 
anywhere from seven to nine million. All right. Not counting the two hundred fifty thousand portion. That's just an RNC. So when we're done, I'll give you the money and you can buy your reclaimer. And sometimes, like I said, if you want to search, you know, just do this until you get the money to buy it. Yeah. Oh, it's about to uh, be done fracturing. It's almost full. Let's scoop up the goodies. When I do this, I crank on some. When I do it solo, I crank on some music and just relax. Okay. Hold well on. It bumped our ship out of alignment with the target. Let's reacquire that target. Oh yeah, you're at minus 19. Don't take that. You were. You must have been too close. Yeah, I guess so. Let's just back up a bit. Try that again. Yeah, that's why that 46 from the center is pretty important. Yeah. All right, I think that's good. I think we're good. All right, I learned something new today, so thank you much. Oh, no problem. All right, it's taking up the goodies. That's what Star Citizen's all about, helping each other out. Oh, yeah. It's funny, because I bounce between helping the pirates, killing the pirates, pirating yeah. people, helping people. I, I think most of us bounce around in that category. Yeah. Halfway between being good and bad, different times. It just depends on the day, I guess, right? Let's see. Alright, the bigger piece is about a quarter done. I took the uh, cockpit end, but now the main body is about a third of the way done. And looks like my character needs to get a drink. I got drinks in the kitchen there. Wow. All good. I'll tell you what, the thing that originally really turned me off to the Reclaimer is I swear a Xenomorph comes standard with this ship. <laughs> and like, I would be constantly looking over my shoulders, paranoid as all get out. I am a huge alien fan. It makes it, I'm not gonna lie, when you're down here in the bottom. Yeah. It does make some weird noises sometimes when you're alone. Yeah, it's like... But I kind of I kind of like that about the ship, that it makes its own weird noises. It kind of adds to the... Atmosphere? Eek, yeah, an atmosphere of the ship. Yeah. <laughs> just... Like I say, I swear there's a, uh, a xenomorph just chilling. Just saying, hey, don't mind me. We come standard with every purchase of a reclaimer. I'm actually really an okay guy. I can see it now like a pet xenomorph just sitting there chilling like, nah, I'm not going to hurt you, I'm just here. So you're at minus 19% there. Yep, it's almost done. Should I be closer? Yeah, but don't worry about it this time because you, once you crack them, you can't tell your distance from them. really hard. That that ninety percent means you're gonna get less less nineteen percent less return. That's actually really good to know, and I appreciate that. Oh no problem. If you stick with the forty six in the center of the ship for breaking the ship, then I'll be in the best spot to scoop up everything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've tried it every different way, and it is really about the best case scenario. Um, yeah. Yeah. Doesn't so. always work, but it works better than any other position, any other distance. All right, bottoms up, pilot. I'm not sure this mission with you. All right, I'll finish the drink. Fair enough. Okay. 
Okay. Untrack. Track. Okay. I'll make my way. There we go. Now that my uh, pilot is nice and hydrated, she'll be happy. And I'm going to set course. And I know you're kind of in your zen mode, just moving those boxes around where they need to go. And it is actually around here, around yellow. Yeah, these uh, these hammerhead missions are. That's why you gotta you gotta just be looking on the lookout for fire. On our way to the next spot. All right. There it is, on my way. And then, so they'll pay us and then we sell the rest for ourselves. No wonder why people love the Reclaimer. That is an amazing, fast and efficient way to make money. Yeah. And it pays you enough to where you can take a crew and everybody makes money. Yeah. A lot of people feel like if you take a crew, they're going to lose big profits or something. Well, oftentimes that is the case. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying to die of that. Again, I don't like having the uh, sun in my face. So I'm just going around the ship real quick before I pull up to it. So you say try to center it be at about 50 to 60 meters. No, 46 meters from the center of the ship. 46, okay. Alright, 46. Close enough, I can practically boop it. I think I'm close enough then. Alright. Oh, I think that is 40. 51 meters. get a little touch closer. Just a touch closer then. Ah, uh, that's true. That is true. Good thing they haven't implemented that yet, Riemann. Stopped right at 47. So that's better. That's 47 time. You can still go positive at 47. Alright. Now look, uh, nope, nope. You say you're at an angle like that? You want to be directly on top of the top of it or the bottom? Oh, okay. See how it ships like at an angle? You want it to be directly across the middle of the ship. Yep. And I, uh, when I extended the arm, I just knocked the hammerhead spinning. Yeah, because the ship was at an angle, so the end of the ship wasn't actually at 46. Mm, I should have gone to the third-person view. 
and confirmed the alignment. Sorry about that. No, no, no problem, man. Uh, trust me. I've, I've already made all these mistakes a hundred times. Already. So I totally, it is not a problem. It is just a learning. Alright. Anyone just stop that thing from spinning? Yeah, I'm gonna come over and stop it. Okay. Let me repoint the, uh, Get in the, uh, get in the seat. We may have to crack this on the bed. If I can get it to stop. No, no, get in the, uh, cloth. Will do. Oh, are you gonna hop in the pilot seat? Yeah, yeah. We have to chase it down. We may have to crack it. Well, yeah. So I mean, it's going pretty slow, but it's spinning pretty quick. Does that make sense? Yeah, I got you. Alright. Sorry about that. Oh, don't, no problem, man. Trust me, I have, I have whacked that ship many times. All right, ready to activate the uh, fracture mode. Let's see. All right, I'm going to activate it. Turn the lights on. Hold on. All right, I've got the fracture field going. Try and maintain a spin around it. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever done it like this. All right. That's uh, it's a pretty cool reclaimer. So at least I got. Okay. I see that it's fractured. Switching modes. All right, got the disintegration on. See, when you crack it, you want to be right here in the center of the ship. Yeah, I see. It, bracing it broadside like that. Engines offline. All right. All right. And I'll try not to uh, boop the ship again. <laughs> oh, it ain't no problem, man. All right, no it's about half done now. So by the time you get to the cargo bay, you should have those boxes popping out. Three uh, quarters of the way done. Oh, the Zeus. Uh, not sure. Mr. All right, Raymond Scarred. Sorry. Was... Okay. Um, do you want me to disintegrate the other part of the hammerhead? Yeah. Let me pull off uh, two boxes. Before you do that. Okay. Let me know when you want me to point the front of the ship. Did y'all see the leaks for the new uh, cover bike? The new what? Cover bike. Uh, you're talking about the one made by Origin? No, no, no. Uh, this just came out. Hold on, give me just a second. Uh, where's that? Well, the new ships and new vehicles are nice and all. I'm concerned about them finishing the features that actually make the game work. I would rather see that prioritized. Oh, I would too, but I just... Uh, I mean, they're working on that now for the first time. Yeah. Okay. Alright, I'm going to grab that last little piece. I just repointed the shit. Alright, let me spin these boxes off real quick. I need to get two off and that should cover it. Okay. It won't take just a minute. Alright, you let me know when to activate the beam. Sure. Right. I'm standing I'll by. Post I posted that picture in your general if you want to look at it real quick. Sounds great. I'll take a look at it. Because I, I think I heard it's supposed to be a new Drake cover bike. Interesting. Know. I have a Dragonfly, and I'm really happy with it. Oof. That's 
pretty close. Alright, I'll go ahead and take a look. It's kind of hard to tell what it is. Can you say it's a Drake product? I think the, the, the Discord I'm in that shared it said it's supposed to be a... It, it's probably going to be a Drake Raptor or something called a Drake Raptor. Huh. It's kind of bleak, but I don't know what it's actually going to be. But I know it's some kind of heavy as well. Alright. All right. Let me know when you're ready for me to activate Go the... Ahead. Uh, we're good. Go ahead. 30.8 SCU. No minuses, so I was... I got properly close to it this time. That's good. Yeah. Now that would be nice. Scarred. I definitely want the QEDs to be properly working. Alright, I think that's the last piece of it. Dang. I'll go ahead and check my uh, mission board. Do we have enough room for our, another hammerhead? Oh yeah, we got enough for probably one more. Okay, I'll go ahead and check the mission board. And it's under a personal, I imagine. Under risky yeah. salvage. No, it's going to be under salvage, but it's going to be... Up, uh, oh, got a hammerhead. Yeah. I'll go ahead and share it. I'll take us there. Wow. That explains why I've been seeing a lot of uh, reclaimers in the... Uh, Crusader area lately. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of money to be made. Yeah. Okay. Ah, there it is. So when it comes time to landing the ship, I'm going to let you take over. Okay, no problem. I've had very bad luck with landing these ships, so... Yeah, it's not okay. I'll let you land it. <laughs> Where do you usually uh, sell the salvage at? A main uh, yard or a grim hex or what? Person. You just go to Orson? Yeah. Uh, you gotta sell the... at the admin office. Okay. Now you said... 56 meters? 46. 46 meters. Oh, let's see... Ooh, that's gonna be pretty close. All right, uh, deploying the claw. Yeah, don't crack it yet. Give me just a second. Are you double checking, make sure I'm lined up good? No, no, no. Um, at this point, I'm having to take a little bit more time and stacking the boxes, so I haven't caught up. Ah, uh, gotcha. I'll just stand by. You let me know when to get started, okay? I'll just deploy the claw, but I won't do anything beyond that. Sounds good.
Ah, uh, it barely touched it, and now it's rotating super slow. That's okay. Give it time, it may stop while I do this. I hope so. You were at 46? Yep. Was the, were you on the side with the turret? I was, on the yeah. Side? Yeah. Okay. I forgot to tell you that you have to be on the side without the turret. That is an, another thing. Because it would have bumped that turret. That's my bad. I apologize. It's all good. All right. And it is drifting away. Sorry. Very slowly. So I will definitely need you in the pilot seat again. just drifted out of the line of sight. That's I think I'm getting pretty close to being down here. That is really cool. Alright, coming up. Appreciate it. No problem. So as soon as you get in the pilot's chair, point the nose to the left and a little bit down and you'll realign with the target. trying to catch up on the chat. Scarred Citizen and Raymond are having quite an interesting conversation, so I'm trying to catch up. Let me know when to uh, let her rip. Alright. Alright. Do be mindful of the big asteroid. All right, let me know when to activate it. All right. Yeah. Server meshing. That is coming up soon, finally. All right, let it rip. Yep. All right, it's going. I agree, Scarred. I think they still need to work out a lot of kinks in the server meshing before it's finally ready, but they are definitely making huge progress on it, that's yeah. for sure. But yeah, by end of the year, that's a tall order. That's a really tall order. Yeah. Oh, we just got radar lock. Can you break it real quick? I'm... I'm... Br uh... Do you need me to get to the turret? Hold on. Let's see what's messing with us. It may be another reclaimer. I don't see nothing. It is a cruise M2. He's just over there after that salvage. Oh, Hopefully let him. He won't call his friends. All right. Oh. I've got Go the disintegration. Alright, it it's going. Broke? It's going. It already broke? 
Not yet. Yep, all right, fracturing. Hundred nine SCU. It's a lot of goodies. All right. All right. Now we're taking it. quarter of the way done with the main body, a third of the way done with the uh, cockpit. All right, halfway done with the body. Disintegrate it. No, oh, let you uh, move the boxes yeah. first. Yeah. Then activate the disintegration. Yeah. All right, standing by. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Raymond and Scarred. I'm very much kind of skeptical. They can say they'll get this or that done, but until they actually get it done, I will believe it when I see it. I, I am not part of the hype train. I'm too much of a realist for that. I just enjoy the game as it is and as I'm doing it and just... Cross my fingers that they'll get it done when they say they will, but don't bet on it. Ah, just take the break that you need to, Scarred. If you need to take a break from this game, dude, ain't nothing wrong with that. All right, I'm going to start uh, scooping up the goods. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're good. And then I'll immediately take us somewhere else, so that way we don't get <laughs> bothered by people. How's the cargo bay looking? Do we need to uh, head to Orson to uh, turn in the goods? Do we have enough room for one more mission? Oh, yeah, that definitely. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. Okay, I'll grab another mission and take us there. And then uh, you take the helm on the home trip so you can land this bad boy. Okay. Hammerhead cleanup. And sharing. I'm setting the course. I'm taking us there. Yeah, it's never good to linger in an area, especially around Grim Hex. You're just asking for trouble. Especially in our climber, because everybody knows for climber you got tons of cargo nowadays. Yeah, that makes us a prime target. Oh, 
Alright, there it is. But yeah. Don't want to be uh, lingering. You're asking for big trouble if you linger in this area for too long. It's just like Walmart. Get in, get your crap, and get out. said 46 meters yep. all right I'm learning I'm learning I think that's good right there. All right. Let's get to cracking. All right. Oh, I see that you're, I see that the filler station is getting more and more empty. I, all right, so fracture, then disintegrate. Here we go. All right, quarter of the way fractured. And I didn't bump the hammerhead this time. All right, better all the see that? We're all over halfway done. All right, three quarters. Fractured. All right. All right. <laughs> Taking the goodies. Give me a second before you break it. Give me like one minute. All right, I holding. Mean, before you integrate. All right, I'm holding. All right. I need to get one more box out. Okay. Let me know when you want me to start. All right. Go ahead and start. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Nice and steady. Uh -huh. That's pretty cool. I am not going to lie. Wait till you come back here and see this part. Oh, when I look at the cargo bay that's full? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you're a, st a stacking king. Like you've got it down to a science. Yeah, I don't use the elevator. I do everything. Else. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start. Okay, I've got to point the ship that last little bit and I'll scoop up the uh, bridge of that hammerhead real quick that is so cool
let's back up a few meters. All right about there should do. All right, I'm about to take the uh, bridge. Okay. Ah. Uh, poked it a bit. Ah, uh, it's flying away. I would need you to be in the pilot seat. It's gone. All right. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll go ahead and head to the cargo bay. I'm gonna have a look at what you've done. Admire your handiwork. Hey, does this ship have a tractor beam? Yes. Okay. I only got one of them. I only got one of them on right now. The okay. Because uh, my viewers, who's being extremely helpful, said, "Hey, man, just use the tractor beam to stabilize the target." You, you can. Problem is, I, I took one of the heads off for the tractor beam to put a scraper on it. Oh. Wall scraper. So now we only got one instead of both beams. Well, that way, when you have a crew here, you're just scraping it as fast as possible. Yeah. Well, I got all all three different variants of heads on this shit. All right, I'm coming down to uh, the uh, salvage processing. I'll be there shortly. Ooh, look at you. That looks fancy. Uh, you got some up there in the rafters. and Okay, yeah. You're using every little bit of space. Yeah, if you come all the way over here to the side, you can see how far down. And did you throw some down the chute? No, I don't do... Everything is upstairs. Oh, does the chute not work? Uh, I, it's just time-consuming. Ah. Uh, to go back and forth and use the elevator, I can do this solo and do it so much quicker. Okay. That actually makes sense. So I can put... I can put almost 10 mil of uh, construction material up here. All right, on the top I, level. I'm going to go ahead and head back to the uh, pilot seat. Sure. Habitation deck, right? Yeah. I'll come up there because I've already gotten up this out of the way. My bad, I just went up. Oh, that's all right. All right. Yeah, I think the bottom does have a cargo grid, but hey, it's his ship, his rules. I'm just it a guest. Does, but the problem is, is the 16 SE boxes barely fit in the door, and uh, then you have a whole problem with how long it takes you to put... It takes two hours to put all this stuff down the elevator and do it that way. Uh, it takes one hour to do it this way, and I'll make the same money. Gotcha. That makes sense. So, it's a matter of time versus money versus convenience versus 
you know, do you want to put everything in the grid? That's fair. All right. Okay. You all mean the pilot's chair or the claw operator? It doesn't matter. Which one you want to get in. All right. I'll hop in the operator chair. Because probably after this, heading back to Orson to sell the goodies. That's fine. And then you can split as much of, as you want as far as when we sell it. To... I'm just going to give you 15 million and let you go on your way. Okay, well, thank you. All right, I've got the disintegration field ready if you want me to scoop up. Point the nose up, you'll see it. All right. I'll just wait till it's no longer minus 19%. I'll wait till you're... Tell me, what, tell me what your number is at. 12% negative. 10. Uh, 11%. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All right, scooping it. All right. So as soon as that's done, do you want me to set course for Orison? Yeah. Okay. And then by the time we get to Orison, you'll take over the pilot's chair and take us in for our landing. Yep. Works for me. All right. I'm heading to the pilot's chair. I'm taking us back to Orison. Set course. All right. Plus, you can't lie. If you do it my way and you see all these boxes stuck down the center, it looks like way <laughs> There you go. Aesthetics for the win. All right. Setting course for Crusader. We're on our way in five, four, three, two, one. setting course for Orison. So feel free to come up and take control of the pilot's chair when you're ready. Okay. Uh, you want to come back here and finish stacking these yeah. 16 bits of use? Probably by the time you're done with that, we'll be in the area and then you can take over. I just went into Quantum Drive to take us directly to Orison. But you know how it does a slow orbit around the planet before dropping into location? So you've got a few moments. No worries. Yeah, so I mean, the Reclaimer looks like it belongs in the Alien franchise, but it is a major moneymaker and it is a neat ship. It's just that I'm paranoid of, well, creatures lurking in the dark. <laughs> well, you can always take a few friends with you and go make some money. That'll probably make me feel better. All right, I am now just looking for the starport, oh, and well, I'm taking. You're gonna have to come. You're gonna have to go up. You got me in armistice. I can't use my multi tool. Oh. All righty. Do you want me to uh, just uh, pilot us to uh, Seraphim Station? Yeah, that's fine. All right. That way you'll be able to use your uh, thingamabob. Yeah. You 
could just get close to here and then just take a couple of bucks off. Alright. I'm just going to go ahead and point my nose back down at uh, Orison. So that way you can work, do your thing. And yeah. There we go. And we are far enough away from Seraphim Station that people should not be bothering us. Because I remember when Port Olisar was like the murder yeah. capital of the game. Yeah, I remember that too. Yeah, and I may have committed a few of those murders myself. <laughs> All right, let's see. So, like, I'm not entirely innocent. <laughs> I didn't mind the murder. It was a pet ram and I got upset about it. Yeah. Okay. So, just whenever you're ready, you let me know. We will head on down. Alright, we should be good. Alright, so head to Orson now? Yep. Alright, and feel free to take the helm when you're ready. I'm coming up. I'll to go to the bathroom real quick and I'll be right back. Sure thing. Then I'll try to uh, take us in and land, have us land. Alright, I guess I'm landing this rig. <laughs> oh boy. I am still not used to the big ships. I'm just used to putting around on my cutlass and being perfectly happy. <laughs> All right, well, let's try to take this big boy in. Oh, hey, there's the starport right there. That makes that easy. All right, I'm away. All right, sounds good. I am on approach to the uh, starport. Yeah, that's no problem. I hope they uh, trim up the cloud tech for Orison. Because you compare the cloud tech from Orison to like Area 18, and it's like two different generations worth of graphics okay. different. Okay. Um, Going into VTOL mode, leveling up, leveling out. All right, I'm out of the seat. Thank you. And I'll just go ahead and hop in the uh, operator seat. All right, I did engage the VTOL mode. Thank you for that. Yeah, this thing uh, does not handle the atmosphere at all. All right. Oh, my uh, chillax uh, play. My uh, playlist has uh, ran out of calm music. Now I'm going to turn on the more bouncy techno-y music. Alright, some happy bouncy music. Yeah, they need to finish making Squadron 42. They need to focus fire their efforts on that, get it done with. So they can transfer that crew to work on the PU. Alright, let's retract that claw. We don't need it now. There we go. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, you're just taking us in nice and easy. For a 
so the uh, Reclaimer's kind of your baby? Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm going big ship Yeah. I'm usually perfectly content and happy in my Cutlass and Fighters. That's what you'll see me moving around in most of the time is a Cutlass. We're about to hit the uh, thing with our back end. I want to move forward a bit more. All right. It would just be a shame to hit it. All right. I think you're clear in the back end now. It's just really close, but I think you're clear. Yeah, you're totally clear. You're good. Totally good. All right. Nice landing. All right, I'm gonna take the coffin elevator down. Like I do struggle with claustrophobia in real life and fear of heights, but other than that, there's not a lot you know of- how to get that, You know how to get that elevator to work? I do. I've got it. All right. I used to. Yeah, it's been glitched for a couple Yeah, I don't see the uh, button or the words to tap to uh, send oh. it down. Watch out. No. There it goes. Alright, thank you. No Alright, I'm clear. Alright, and I'll just follow you around Orison. I'm gonna call in a couple of my ships and then I'll follow you around to the uh, admin office. Now the admin office is on a Providence platform. <sighs> Thank you very much. And then you'll just cash in the rest for yourself? Yeah, so that way you can just, you don't have to worry about it. No problem. Well, hey. Yeah. I might already have one in my inventory, I just haven't used it yet. So I'll have to check. If not, I'll make the trip to Hurston and buy one. Alright, let's get my Cutlass. Because that's, that's my baby, the Cutlass. Yeah, I enjoy the recording though. It's, it's very relaxing, put on some music. Yeah. Uh, just hang out by yourself. Mm -hmm. Or take a friend. Sure it's good. Or do your shit and make the money. Yeah. Alright, I'm actually going to call in my vulture as well. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I can just follow you for a minute. Let me check my uh, inventory, my ship inventory. See if I do have a reclaimer. Should be Aegis, right? Yeah, 10 Uh, Nope, looks like as soon as my Cutlass Black gets here, I will make the trek out to uh, Lorville, and I'll go ahead and buy one. So, I'll just follow you for a bit. Uh, I'm fixing the log out. Oh, gotcha. That makes sense. Well, hey, thank you for taking me out in the Reclaimer. And I got to learn some new things today. I appreciate it greatly. I had a good time. Hit me up anytime. Likewise. We're now friends, so... I'm pretty knowledgeable on Bounty... I'm kind of a beginner to moderate PvP -er. Not top tier, but pretty good. And I like to uh, raid bunkers and be a loot goblin. Those. Uh, I love loot goblin, for sure. Uh, yeah, that, I love doing that. Yeah, yeah, hit me up. If you want to run a climber, I'll come join your get a couple of Sure. And I'll, I'll let you be the stack master. I saw you how you stack it. I like it. 
Oh. All right, well, you have a good one. Yeah, I'm gonna buy some parts for my Inferno before I leave Orson, because it needs to have the nice grade A military coolers, and then my Inferno will be 100% ready to roll. Oh, that's good. Basically, I've got all the uh, other components, everything but the coolers. So I need to uh, put in the uh, coolers. That's good. Alright, well, I will see y'all later. Peace out. Take care. What a nice guy. Thank you for the help, and I got to learn something new today. So, totally worth it. Alright. So let's buy the parts I need for the Inferno that I don't have. And then let's get to Hurston and buy a Reclaimer. Now I know how to make a ton of money. And if you're a new player, hey, join me in the Reclaimer. Stack some boxes. We'll share the stuff. Providence. That's where I need to go. I need to go to Providence. I think the shuttle's coming from this direction. Yeah. What's the time? What is the time hack on that? 10 seconds. I don't see it. Hmm. Are the shuttles bugged here? Yep, the shuttles are borked. So, looks like I won't be doing that little uh, errand in Orison. The next shuttle is approaching the station. Ah, whatever. I'll get it another time. Alright, let's get in my cutlass and go to Lorville. This stream was a lot more eventful than I originally planned, so I'm actually rather happy about it. A lot of good things happened today, and good happens. I made a lot of money. Alright, why don't we go ahead and go get the reclaimer for myself. Maybe uh, next time y'all want to join me for some reclaiming. I'll just share the mission, share the money. We all win. Lots and lots of money. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Okay. Where is my... Four minutes. Let's get it here now. Okay. Let's go to Hurston. All right. Let's go. Where's my cutlass? This is my baby. So, I'll do the cutlass cleanup in my vulture and make 80k per run. That's a lot of money. That's really good.
That was wonderful. Alright, let's set course for Hurston. This ship, this is my baby. Let's go buy a reclaimer. Thanks, Raymond. This shade of green just makes me happy. I believe this is the spooky green that you can buy around Halloween. They make the spooky green available to all Drake ships. It's a Drake exclusive color. I just like this shade of green because it makes me happy to look at it. I have this on my Caterpillar. I've got this on my Buccaneer, my Dragonfly, my Cutlass. I've got it all. So, let's see, we should be able to go to Quantum any second now. I am at the right altitude. Ah, uh, but I don't have line of sight. y'all remember when we had to go to 150 kilometers before we could go to uh, Quantum out of Orison? Oof. Yeah, that was totally fun. Not. Alright, clear. Recalculate the route. Redemption done on the Roaring Twenties would be hot. That would be awesome. I want to see flappers. We're just during World War One era, just right after flappers. I think that would be cool. Let's go buy a reclaimer. And then that pretty much, that has exceeded all of my expectations of what I was going to do tonight on stream. I have more than exceeded my expectations of what I was going to do today. So, thank you. So I fed my dog some of the pizza I had for lunch because I just ran out of room in my stomach because I'm trying to eat better proportions than I used to. And that dog is all tuckered out. She even had a long walk today. She is asleep on the couch and 
off to, she's off to slumberland. Oh, her ears perked up. She heard me talking about her. Yep, she's peeking up and looking at me. Hello. Hi. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. How you doing? Did you enjoy your nap? Did you enjoy that nap? You were out for well over an hour. Just, you were off in dreamland. Yeah. Yeah, I would like to see a Red De Dead Redemption in the Roaring Twenties. I think that would be cool. But that would be like the last one they'd make. I've also purchased God of War. You know, when Kratos is older and he has a son. I got it for sale on Steam. I have yet to start it up and play it, but I've heard really good things about that particular uh, God of War game. So I got it on sale for like 60, no, 75% off on Steam. Yes, a sequel. Tired of prequels. Burnt out on prequels. Done with it. We need to have sequels. We need to make sequels great again. All right. Let's go buy a reclaimer. Let's go get one. I do love the fighters in this game, but the Cutlass Black is my daily driver. It's my it's my baby. But when I have those specific bounty missions, I hop in a fighter. Now if I got a gunner with me, I'll either break out the Cutlass or the Hurricane. I love the Hurricane. and easy. Let's go buy a reclaimer. Well, during that time period is World War One. So, World War One era Red Dead Redemption.
So let's go buy a reclaimer. Huh? Ah. Uh, I always come out that way. I haven't come out that way before. That got me turned around. Now this is just a fun ship to have. Reclaimer. Yeah, so I think a post World War One era would actually be best, just right after. So right at the end of World War One and into the Roaring Twenties, I think that would be an awesome time era. A lot of things happened during that part in history that not a lot of people really appreciate. Oh wow, it's actually cheaper than I thought it would be. All right, let's buy a reclaimer. Nice. Got a reclaimer. That's wonderful. the reclaimer. Nice. Okay. Cutlass. I think I'm gonna head... I'm gonna head back up to Microtech, I think. Nineteen eighteen and the end of, to the end of the war, I think. Let's see. Uh, America didn't join in until after the war started. We reluctantly joined. And we were reluctant to join World War II until Pearl Harbor happened. New Babbage. I just like that place. Alright, all right, let the doors open all the way. Gotta wait till it's opened all the way. I just like my cutlass. 
I mean, yes, there's objectively better ships in the game than this by far, but this is the one that I love. Start those engines. I should be at altitude right about now. Alright, close to it. There we go. Won't take me long to get there. I've got the fast engine put in this thing. But yeah. You can do a lot in this little ship. If you really want the most bang for your dollar, this really is the ship to get. Right here. You can do the most things. I mean, some people scream Nomad, but have you ever tried loading that rock on the bed? It's a pain in the butt and it's unwieldy. And while you have a lower signature on the radar, if you actually get in a fight, you're far more likely to die in a Nomad than you are a Cutlass. You at least have a fighting chance in a Cutlass. Yeah. Yeah, we were. For better or worse, I'm going to check in with Shadow Spectre and the Snowboards and see if they want to have an extra party member. And what I'm probably going to do is once I am done here, I'm going to uh, end my stream and just join them in their activities. Hello. Hey, you guys need an extra teammate? Hey, sure. how you doing, Squirrel? Hey, Squirrel. Good. Come on in, man. I'm about to close out my stream, and I'll just come and be your helper. All right. Let me know when you're on the server or whatever. We'll get your party in life. Sure. I'm just on my way to Microtech to land. I just got a uh, Reclaimer. Somebody uh, gave me the tour in the uh, Reclaimer, his own personal one, and I made over $14 million with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So it was funny. I was Good running stuff. a stream and he was doing all the talking and explaining. Mm. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end.